Jordan, shall I? <laughs> Suka Muhebwa from Uganda against Obada Al Kazbe of Jordan. Suka Muhebwa, uh, captain of the Uganda Bombers boxing team, nicknamed Hard Puncher. 2022 Commonwealth Games quarterfinalist at 63, trains at the East Coast Boxing Club in Kampala. And he uh, scored a first round or third round uh, RSC stoppage in his first bout, taking down Edgar Garcia of Guatemala. And then winning the second one 4 1. So here he is. And we mentioned Olympians. And the Jordanian. Obada Al Kaspe is hunting a third Olympic appearance 2016, 2020. Brazilian won bronze at the 2023 Pan American Games. Uh, just one bout from clinching there. And Al Kaspe beat him in his first round by unanimous decision, Al Kaspe. There he is, 29-year-old, the veteran of Yuri Falcao. But Tuka, Tuka Muhebwa, so the captain of the Bombers, and had a couple of eye-catching wins inside the distance at September's African qualifier, then lost on points to three-time Olympian Louis Rishano Collan of Mauritius. So both these men with some pedigree, as we see our judges from Italy, Argentina, the Philippines, Morocco, and Bulgaria. Our referee, Sergei Krutasov. Interesting clash in prospect. Expect there to be a lot here. Action coming. So it's Tuka Muhebwa in the red, Al Kaspe in the blue. aggressor early on, but Kaspe now trying to get on the front foot. Jordanian uh, giving the first 40 seconds to the Ugandan here as he measures his foe. for Al Kaspe to unload. He's got Tuka Mahebwa where he wants him. Big right hand there connecting. The nation from Tuka Mahebwa. Sent back again by Al Kaspe though. And oh, that's a huge left by the Jordanian. Tuka Mahebwa looked in trouble for a split second. Before that, he had worked the body, so after sizing up for the first 40, problem solving now. Kesbe is oh, rolling and this might not last a lot longer. Kesbe with an uppercut followed by the cross. Switching shots from head to body. Took him ahead was fighting back, but looks in a bit of trouble here. It's like he's holding on a little bit. He's got another 50 seconds to go here. He does have a big punch, so it's always that chance. 
This round has uh, gotten away from the Ugandan. Great body shot from Al Kazbe. He just looks a very solid citizen. He sure does. Oh, oh. he's landing right. Ugandan fires back, but Al Kazbe is on top here. See the referee looking right closely. And uh, that was great work. After the first 40 seconds. That was all he needed, 40, 45 seconds to size up his opponent, wow. and then Al Kazbe took over. 10 nines across the board. Duga Mahebwa uh, will listen to any ideas that the corner has, because uh, there's a lot coming his way, and just, just struck by the efficiency of Al Kazbe. And there's, you know, when he's in there, he's not paying much of a price. That left uppercut we just saw, that was a peach. Right here he's getting a couple of shots and then there's another one coming. So complete control and looking every bit like the two-time Olympian. He hasn't won a bout at the Olympic no. Games yet. It's surprising when you look at his, his work all the way through. And now... Took him a headwear. Coming out with some urgency, but he's taking some shots. Trip. Slip. No. It's a knockdown. Well, I thought I thought that was a slip. His le his leg definitely buckled, but it may have been as a result I, of a punch. I, I thought they may have got tangled, but. Doesn't look to be any the worse for wear. And there was no protest from Takamo Hebwa. Kespe getting out of danger's way for the most part there. Really a strong man. Able to push Takamo Hebwa back. And uh, I think he. He size things up and wants to put this one away. Gandon firing back. Right through the guard from Al Kazbe. Switching to Southpaw to try and change things but they get through with the right he may have weathered that storm a bit minute to go second round he has to really try to dig deep though uh, he's well behind if we get a look at that knockdown again after the round As you say, there wasn't a great deal of complaints from... There was none, yeah. A shoelace? A belt, a uh, waistband adjustment. And... Buys him a few seconds. It does, and he'll take it. Jordanian all business here. Oh, good one right. there. Good yeah. right from Sukumahebwa. <laughs> Kazbe still in control though. Better round from the Ugandan, but 
don't think he's done enough to take no. it. Especially with that knockdown. Maybe we'll see the replay. Ten nines across the board again. So Turkham and Hebboy with a mountain to climb in round three. No problem in that corner. No panic. He's done what he expects to do. There's that uppercut. Let's see here. There was a left. There was a left which landed. I'm well, I, I not looked, convinced it was the cause of Tukum Ahebwa going I to looked the at, deck. I was looking at his legs, and, you know, there wasn't any trip. Yeah. He just dropped. So um, I, I expect that the, the referee had it right. And again, the lack of protest from Tukum Ahebwa tells me he, uh, he thought he got caught. Didn't necessarily hurt him, but. It wasn't the most powerful punch he's landed in this contest, no. I don't think, but it was a knockdown. Still 10 nines on the scorecards. Al Kazbe very much in control of this contest. But we know Tukum Ahebwa is capable of stopping opponents. He's going to need to do that again here. Nickname the hard puncher, apparently, and he'll, he'll need to show that. There's a few. And I think he's gotten the message. He knows full well he's got to do something big here. Looking at Alcazbe, it's hard to imagine him getting stopped. Yeah. Very rugged individual. And the Ugandan is firing, and he needs to. Now he's backed up the Ugandan into the corner. Yeah, Cosba is very comfortable either chasing or just trading in the corner. That presents a lot of problems. He's not the sort to get on his bike. Something's happened to Tukum Ahebwa's glove. Problem remedied. On we go. Okay, slip. That was a slip. One minute left for Tukuma Hebwa to find something. And again, at this weight class, it, you know, it could happen. He's still on the wrong end of a lot of heat. Cosby getting on his bicycle a little bit. Not for very long, mind you. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Now Casby in total control here. Just my head boy looking a little tired as well. Back to Southpaw and needs to find a big shot from somewhere. There's the 10 second clapper. Caspe working the body, and that is the end of the contest. And no doubt about your winner, Abada Al Caspe, and he is now one win away from going to a third Olympic Games. Just looks like he has the recipe. And, uh, uh, no doubt about it, day at the office. And he uh, will present some problems for Paraskiv, and that will be very interesting. That one will be a good bout.
So Al Kasbe going through by unanimous decision. And as Tom said, next up for the Jordanian Alexandru Paraskiv from Moldova. Now, again, it be an interesting yeah, clash of very styles. Interesting. Al Kasbe very much likes to come forward. Quite hard to stop. We saw Paraskiv have a good test for trying to stop up somebody with uh, Flores. Just uh, kept coming, but Paraskiv was circumspect and good, did good work. And then, you know, right here you see some of the uh, dominating performance from Alvada Alcazba. I'd say Alcazba a bit more skilled than Flores. Yeah, for sure. If you're a Spanish boxing fan, you take heart in the fact that Flores, who we saw just a little while ago, turned 21 four days ago, his future very much in front of him and no, no doubt about that. One judge giving that final round to Tukamahebwa, but all three rounds to Al Kasbe on the other four scorecards.